faith has corresponding actions. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 11. Therefore we also pray always for you that a God would come to you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. As we are talking about the seven steps to exercising faith, today we consider step five, which is that faith has corresponding actions, or you need to act your faith, you need to work your faith. Like we see here in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 11, Paul is praying for the believers at Thessalonica. And one of the things he mentions in this prayer is, he says, we are praying that God would fulfill your work of faith with power. Implying here that your faith will work or you're doing something out of your faith, your work of faith. You're doing something because you have faith in God. You are having actions that are displaying or expressing your faith. And as you are working your faith, he says, God will fulfill or God will complete your work of faith with power. That means God's power goes into operation when you work your faith and things happen and your faith is fulfilled. Your work of faith is brought to completion. That which you are exercising your faith for is uh, happens. It comes into uh, existence because God fulfills your work of faith with power. Remember, faith has to be worked. There has to be corresponding actions to faith. And when you work your faith, then God's power goes into operation and he fulfills your work of faith with power. James chapter 2 verses 26 says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. That means uh, if, they, if you say you have faith, but you're not putting your faith to work, you're not doing something in aligned to your faith, you're not doing something to express your faith, then faith by itself, he says, is dead, it's lifeless, is unproductive, is ineffective. So we must have actions that correspond to our faith. So if you're believing God for a promotion at work, you're having faith for God to promote you at work, then go work and work well. Give it your best. That's your work of faith. If you're believing God to uh, meet a certain financial need, then begin to put your faith in action towards that. You take your little seeds of money and you sow it because as you give, God will multiply that back. Or uh, uh, you also uh, begin to uh, see how you can uh, have that need met. You know, believe God, speak to that need. That's an expression of your faith. If you're believing God for healing in your body, you speak healing towards your over your body, and then you begin to act, begin to do things that you could not do. Slowly and steadily, you begin to act your faith. And when you work your faith, God will fulfill your work of faith with His power. Remember, faith requires corresponding actions. And when there are corresponding actions, God's power fulfills your work of faith. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you teach us how to walk by faith. That as we do, you fulfill our work of faith with your power. So be it in each of our lives according to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.